Hey there, Sam and I are heading to a very remote beach. Uh, we just took a pretty gnarly sandy road. Uh, it's every year it's an adventure. We wonder if we're going to get back out again. But uh, so far we have. So uh, anyhow, we like this beach because it's hard to get to, so there's probably not very many people picking it. So hopefully we'll find an egg or three or four. Really pretty piece of jasper down here. That's the first rock to go in the bucket. This is Lake Superior. We're a little bit west of the Two-Hearted River here. And what do you have? Oh, banded iron formation, huh? Yeah, nice piece. Yeah. Cold out today. Do you remember what the temperature was in the Jeep? Probably the upper 40s. Not supposed to get up to, I think, in the 50s today. We can't really see the weather report because there's no cell service here. Sam and I were out yesterday and it was really rough, so these rocks should be nicely mixed up. Hopefully exposed a few new agates. Ooh, that's pretty. That's neat. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but I like it. Mm -hmm. Found one? A lot of quartz in the middle there, but it's a pretty decent band on the outside. Yeah. Huh. Not, not too bad. Good start. Yeah. Here's an Omar with like three holes in it. Omar short for Omara luck. Um, the mineral that's made out of is, is called uh, Gray Wacky. They come from up in Canada somewhere. Lots of nice rocks here. Throw us a little stripe on this one down here. Sam so just pointed out a piece of unikite. Always nice. Some epidote, chunk of unikite, more epidote there. Never know what that stuff is. Sam and I just call that the mystery rock. It's a little bit translucent. Piece of quartz. That's an agate. Some nice little white bands in there. Oh, fun little window. Ooh. That's cool. Yeah. Not many red ones we usually find in here in the eastern UP, but that's kind of red. It's a weirdly weathered rock.
area was all burned down. Yeah, it's been a few years now. I don't remember exactly how long, but little trees starting to come up. And we're coming up to the end of the burned area right here. Well, that's an agate. Mostly quartz look like. Maybe some smoky quartz along there. And kind of abandoned there maybe. Not as pretty as the red one, but... Oh, nice blue on top there. Yeah, that's the top looks cool. Neat. Almost thought that was an agate for a minute, but not quite. I just found a happy little rock. Hello, I'm Mr. Rock. Very bright. Jasper, I guess, huh? Yeah, something like that. It's a neat rock, but uh, this side looks like it won't tumble very well. If it was all like that, I'd take it in the heart. Yeah, flip that over. Yeah. yeah, that's really cool. A lot of epidote in there. Nice contrast on that one. It's an interesting rock with this seam thing going through it. I like the red. Might tumble. Yeah, yeah maybe. I like the, yeah, the red with that quartz in there is yeah, nice kinda, contrast. Kind of green too. All kinds of fun. Look at all the trees down along here. This is a fairly wide beach. You think that water got way up there? knock those off the bank. And look at the beating they take. This thing's just all torn up, all up and down. So it was either floating around in the water, or it's probably up along the beach and uh, just getting hammered. Rocks and waves. Here's a nice one of our mystery rocks. It doesn't seem to have any super bad undercutting or cracks, so I think we'll tumble it. Yeah, those, uh, as long as they don't have that undercutting in, uh, in them, they, they usually do pretty well. Uh, there's a rock that just moved. I think it was that one, and that's nothing. But that one's pretty cool. I'm about due to find an agate anytime now. I just spotted this. And then when I walked over, I spotted this by his foot. So, good little spot. There's only a few yeah. rocks right here. My first agate. I thought it was due for one. Yeah, that's there a nice one. Very bright. Yeah, I like it. It's a very clear piece of quartz. At least by Michigan standards. Piece of chert. Some decent little stripes going on. I like how it's uh, darker on the top and it's got that white layer in the bottom. 
Hope you can see the subtle banding in that. Another piece of clear quartz. Might be clearer than the last one. See if I can see Sam through it. Nope. It's kind of cool. My guess would be that that's, well it's quartz, but I think that's just iron staining on the end there. Thinking about tumbling that one, but I'm not sure if that'll stick around. The crack I'll have to tumble out right there. Might give it a try. Just found another agate. Got some subtle banding in there. Goes all the way around in that little middle part. We, we were just talking about we're getting to a spot on the beach where we both remember finding agates in the past. We've been coming here, what, this is our third year? Well, I think this is the third year. Yeah, and, uh, yeah we've, we've found agates right up in that area there, so hopefully find some more. Pink rock. Well, I just found this. Sort of an agate, maybe? I don't really know. It's kind of a mess. We might have a winner. Got some nice bands in there. That's gorgeous. Kind of a sea maggot, I think. It's got some host rock on the other side. Fun stripes on that one. Thought I found an agate for a second, but it's not. Pretty rock though. And then Sam just picked up a oh, stripy rock. It is stripy. Like stripy. I was really hoping that was some sort of big agate. I mean, it could be a pseudomorph, but I don't know. Pretty cool looking, whatever it is. Yeah. Not an agate though. A little heavy to carry with us. We're exactly in the spot where we thought it might pick up because we found agates here before. I think we're gonna pace back and forth between this spot a couple of times. <laughs> Cause that, that's a nice one. What? Might be the nicest of the day. Yeah, you have that pretty nice one too, but I'm very happy with this one. Maybe you saw the video where I was making centers for the daisies in my daughter's room, and I wanted yellow rocks. I might upgrade some of those centers, because that one's nice. And it's not real thick, so uh, the yellow won't go all the way through that probably, but it'll probably go in deep enough that I can get a, a couple cabs out of it. Well, I found this little agate a while ago, but... I figured we couldn't really see the bands on camera, so we wait to film it with another agate. And then Rob, and this big bad boy. Very happy with my finds today. It's not an agate, but what a pretty rock. That's going in the tumbler. Been a little while, but I found another one. This time I was walking in the water. Why, why were you walking in the water, Sam? Perhaps Rob found a couple of <laughs> in the water prior to that. You can always tell where Sam's going to go right after I find an agate. That's a really nice one. Yeah, it really stuck out with all this quartz. Yeah, I like it. It's uh, not a bad little it's an agate. It's a little fuzzy. doesn't have great banding, but it's kind of fun. I think I like that one more than you do. I like that one quite a bit. Just found another one. Mostly quartz in there, but not bad. Some sort of like inclusions in there in the uh, outer husk. Yeah. 
check that out. Stuff kind of, I don't want to call it sod, but forest floor. There's a whole juniper on this piece. They've fallen off the top and are heading their way towards Lake Superior. Interesting colored rock. Almost not quite sandstone. But... Oh, it's smoother than sandstone. Yeah. That's weird. Kind of like camouflage. Yeah. Now well, we just ate lunch sitting on that log and came back to the water and I immediately found that little guy. Actually wasn't in the water. Very nice. Good brain break. <laughs> Freshes the eyes. Yep. Well, I just plucked this out of the water. Kind of agate It's almost like the inside of an agate where the outside's all worn off. All right. I didn't think this was possible, but I just found a pudding stone. I found them farther east, like more toward the Sioux, but never found one here. I didn't think it was possible. I think that's a pudding stone. It sure looks like one. <laughs> well, just found a pretty good agate. I almost didn't pick it up, pick it up thinking it was Jasper. <laughs> Boy, is that guy quite a lot of bandage. Very nice. Look at that. I think that's uh, magnetite. But I don't have my magnet with me today. Oh, it'll look better dry. Almost 100% sure that's what that is. I might tumble that one. I don't know if it tumbles well or not, but I'm going to give it a try. Look what I just dug out of the sand. I think Rob's outdone me, outdone me on at least single rock category. Yeah, that one's, that one's awesome. Yeah, I'm a little jealous. I'm very, very happy. Now, I really thought I had a good one here. And it's a... Uh, it's a maggot at best. Maybe it's an agate. There's a really nice looking banded iron. That's tumbler worthy for sure. It's gotten quite foggy out. Just found this that has some little lines there in the white. I wouldn't really call it an agate. Maybe it is. Just found the nice one. Kind of saw it like that, and I flipped it over, and very nice. Yeah, that's that's a good one. Good one. We're heading back and up here hunting the dry rocks. I just found this, which isn't really an agate, I don't think, but certainly has some agate qualities. We'll call it a maggot. Sam just threw this one at me. Well, to me. To my feet. It's a really wild rock. Just found a fun Omar. Kind of a crab claw or a crescent moon. Or a, or a guy screaming. Ah! <laughs> really nice piece of quartz. Just found this nice little thing. Got some crystals in there. And over here. I don't think it's an agate exactly, it's mostly quartz, but it kind of like, thought it was one for a second. That view is pretty cool. Nice. Well, 
Well, that seems to be pretty nice. Ooh. That's mm. beautiful. Some real nice bands there. Here, go dip that one in the water. Yeah. Take that any day. Look at that little blue thing on the end. Yeah, a little bit of almost quartzy stuff. Crystal impression right there. Yeah. Neat. Say weird one. Kind of jaspery in some areas, kind of agate in some other areas. And Sam's throwing stuff at me. Oh, nice piece of epidote. That'll tumble well. Go tumble it. Quite the contrast there, huh? Piece of chert. We've been noticing pollen in the water here and there today, but not as bad as that. Look at that, it's just yellow. The pretty orange one. Well, this one's pretty awesome. Not an agate, but it's some really nice jasper with some, uh, some sort of quartz running through it. Yeah, that's gonna be awesome tumbled. Well, I talked a lot about rocks that would look good tumbled, so check out these two videos of some rocks from last year that I tumbled, and I have really cool before and after pictures of them, so I think you'll like them. So see you over there.